Hey guys, this is Drew with Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're gonna give you guys a slight recap on the Grapevine Coin Show this weekend. Got some cat coins, got some coins of the week, got some generic coins as well. Can't wait to show you those in this video, so stay tuned for that. We wanted to talk a little bit about the show though first because um, most of the time we wanna talk about is it worth going to the show? What did we find? Um, but there was something that kind of bothered us at the beginning of the show that we wanna to talk to you guys about. Just um, a little bit about professionalism, integrity, things that really stood out to me uh, on how some coin dealers act and some how other coin dealers act. Um, so what basically happened is we came to the show in the morning. We arrived about two hours before Early Bird opened. Uh, we bought Early Bird. Um, we were told by the front person at the front desk, hey, go in when you buy Early Bird, it's fine, no one should care. Um, and we got kicked out by the person that actually ran the show. They said, hey, you need to wait until nine o'clock, which was an hour before uh, early bird opened to come in I said, okay. Uh, we ended up talking to a dealer beforehand. He said, hey, everything that you want, you know, that I have is first dibs for you. If you want to come by the table and pick it up, that would be, you know, go, go do so, right? And so I was like, awesome. We have all this stuff lined up for us. We're going to be able to have a great return, make some money, get some nice coins for you guys. Well, that didn't happen. Uh, and there's nothing against this dealer. He's a great guy. I mean, has blessed us so many times. There's nothing wrong with him. It's about the person that really uh, took advantage of the situation, took advantage of someone's good graces, and then basically stepped on our throats and bought the coins. Um, so, like I said, they moved us out of there, and the guy came over and literally started just opening up these dealers' boxes that he said would let us look through them. He's opening up his own these guys' boxes. He's looking through them. He's making his stacks. He's... Take, he's taken everything. He's taken it all. Um, and so it's just, for me, it was a little bit troubling because, um, you know, we were said we got first dibs and that's okay. We didn't get first dibs. Somebody else literally jumped in the middle, took everything that he could from the person because he knew he wouldn't say anything back. And um, for me, it's just something that I take notes of. Casey takes notes of this stuff. We're not going to be those type of people. At the end of the day, it's about working with people. It is not about cutting, cutting people to take their money from them off their table. I am there because I want to build relationships and that will ultimately build success. I do not want to go to a coin show to take advantage of other people and their good gracious, good, good graces, um, and then end up losing friendships along the way. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the coins though. I really want to show you guys these great pieces. I feel like we were still blessed beyond uh, measure and I'm so thankful you guys can take a look with us. So as many of you guys know, CAC has been talking about moving to coin grading and stepping away from the sticker. Just basically sending less coins in is what they want to achieve. And so what we've been doing is buying really great CAC approved coins for you guys on our website. And the coin I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit more before showing you guys the rest of the coins is this 1902 Indian head scent. It's graded MS65 red by PCGS. Really great red color, CAC approved. It is more of an expensive piece, uh, but the thing that I love so much about CAC coins is that they're original and they're also just, the eye appeal is on another level. And so offering not only generic coins or higher price coins, but also offering affordable cat coins is what we like. And so make sure to check out our website if you guys wanna see more coins like this. But let's move over to the CAC coins and show you the rest of them. Alrighty guys, so here is kind of the group of CC coins that we received this week and got some from Grapevine as well. Starting off on the left side here, kind of a few generic dollars, but I really have been seeing a little bit of a premium in these. People are wanting to spend some money under 300 bucks, get a CAC sticker on a coin. This one does have some nice eye appeal to it, nice luster as well, so had to get that one. Also another uh, CAC Morgan 81S, also 64 CAC. Just some decent coins here, things that'll move, and I do like those a lot. Not like the craziest coins that you'll see, but definitely some coins that people might need for their collection. Here's a little mistake that we made recently. So we ended up selling this coin. Uh, it's a 1938 Walker MS64 CAC and a Rattler. And as soon as I sold it, I felt like we shouldn't have. And so we had to buy this coin back and it's gonna be in the Rattler box for a long time. Just a tougher date and I don't know why we sold it, and it was kind of my fault for that. A few other coins here as well, a nice 66 Walker in CAC, 
Really nice surfaces of the coin. Really like the luster as well. Just really stunning and beautiful. A lot of, uh, like I said, CAC coins have been going up in value and people have been looking for them. And so whenever you can get a nice one like that, I've tried to aim for it. A little bit more of an expensive coin here. This is a 1937D, three-legged buffalo, CAC approved. Nice original surfaces, really nice for the grade as well. And so we wanted to pick this one up. I do love three-legged buffaloes, especially when John likes them as well. A few other Morgans here. Um, I've seen a lot of these Rattlers been going up in prices like crazy. And so offering some of these would be really nice. Just when they were submitting these back in the day, they're really nice and beautiful with luster. And the 99O I feel is a little bit better. If you guys take a look at this cheek here, I mean, this one is really close to a 65. There is a little shatter right in front of the face, which is kind of the problem on this coin, but still a really nice, beautiful shaker. Um, two other coins that we ended up picking up for our collection, 1853 gold dollar. Don't see many gold dollars in Rattlers these days especially type ones, and this one's a little bitty one. It is CAC approved as well. I mean, just a really phenomenal piece. Did I have to spend some money on this coin? But let me know what you guys think of this coin down below. Would it be something that maybe you wanna own one day? I really love your feedback. Another coin that we bought as well for our collection is trying to fill out basically a date set for Morgans that are toned in Rattlers. It's the 82P, 63 CAC. I think it's a nice envelope toning. It's got blue on the obverse. Nice white reverse. Um, you know, just a nice hole filler for now until we can get a really special one in. I don't think the color is too crazy on this coin, but it was pretty affordable. Here is a really nice Monster SOQ. This is a 1928S, grade MS65 by NGC. Older holder, as you can see as well, CAC approved. The rainbow on both sides is phenomenal. Do love this coin a lot. Couldn't keep it very long, but I still wanted to show you guys. Uh, I don't see too much red and blue on SOQs, but this one really did stand out to us. I hope you guys like it as well. The two last coins I want to show you is this 38 proof uh, mercury dime. It's got a little, few little spots above the head, but it's very not noticeable. It's proof 67 CAC, um, just an earlier date, and it has a really nice cameo look to it. So something that we found at Grapevine that I really do like as well is this 1854 seated dime it's created au55 by pcgs it has some color on the coin it has arrows it also is cac approved uh, feels like older type coins really are tough to find um, with the sticker just because a lot of them were cleaned or they had a lot of surface issues maybe they had uh, some scratches or they had some dings and so finding a cac approved coin like this really is tough and we're glad we could find it for you so a lot of people have been asking us recently, what coins have been selling for you, Drew and Casey? Uh, what coins have been really moving in the market? Um, and you know, are the high dollar coins getting uh, sold quicker? Are the lower uh, dollar coins selling quicker? And the answer to us is the more generic stuff recently, that's really nice quality, has been moving quicker. I would say coins under $300, that's really been our bread and butter, and that's how most coin shops are. And so we wanted to talk to you guys about some generic pieces, but one of my favorite ones of the weekend is this 1935S Walking Liberty Half. It's created AU50 by PCGS. The reason why I bought this coin is because it gets really expensive in high AU and it gets really, really expensive in, in mint state. And so when you can buy a generic coin like this for around 130 bucks, I think you're getting a deal. And so when you're talking about generic coins, you really gotta keep an eye out for Tougher dates or coins that people will really love. We also bought some Indian head scents. We bought other walkers that are really nice in PQ. But let's show those to you guys right now. We hope you guys enjoy them. So here's some of the generic coins that we found this weekend. A few that we kind of picked out of the bunch here to show you. But we also have some more right here if you guys want to check us out. AcousticCollectibles.com Couldn't share all these with you today, so make sure to go check it out over there. But to start things off, I wanted to show you an early Mercury Dime. This is a 1919, great MS62 full bands. Nice white coin, a little dot behind the head, but that's not too bad. I don't see these come up for sale too often, especially in full bands. And so if we can make 10 bucks on a coin like this, that would be great. And like we were saying, a lot of these cheaper coins end up doing moving quicker, which is nice. Uh, we bought this 1912 Liberty V-Nickel. It's got some toning on both sides of the coin. 
really kind of like a gold and red to the obverse, a little bit of blue as well. It has a little bit of haze on the reverse, but it has the same type of color pattern. Definitely a, neat, a unique piece for sure. It has a little circulation to it, but that's okay. Been moving a little bit more into walkers, as you guys know. Got some tougher short set coins here. It's the 44S and 64. I bought it because it was really uh, PQ, really flashy, no distracting spots. Just a nice blast white coin. Same kind of story with the 45S, grade 65. Um, I mean, just look at the surfaces of the coin. These are weakly struck, as you can see, down from uh, 12 to 6 here. But really, really flashy coins. Never can pass these up, really. I um, showed you guys the 35S earlier, but we'll talk about it again. Just a tougher coin to find in any grade, AU or XF. Um, and then it just gets crazy in prices, high AU and mint state. Bought a few Rattlers this weekend and old holders. This is a 1938D. Buffalo Nickel Grade MS66 by PCGS. Uh, you know, it's a nice little rattler, has a little toning on the coin. Uh, for some reason, I've been not been able to find many of these, especially in 66, and so I wanted to offer it to you guys. Bought a whole slew of Indian head scents, all AU55 to AU58, original looking coins, some even Civil War dates. So this is a, a year one, 1859. Uh, it's great AU58 by PCGS, another coin that gets pretty expensive in Mint State, and so finding one that's a little bit more of a, uh, a budget friendly is something that we wanted to do. Got a few, like I said, Civil War dates. Got a 62, 64 bronze, 64 copper nickel, and an 85, which is pretty nice. But let's show you guys these pretty quickly as well. Most of these have nice original surfaces to each coin. I love the chocolatey brown that this bronze has. It's really hard to pick up on, but maybe you guys could take a look at our, of our photos on this one. Um, just really nice. Got also a copper nickel variant here as well. I do like this one also because it really does stand out. I like the reverse on this one even more. Also got this 85 here. Um, just nice brown coin. It's really bad in this light, but I do like these a lot. Also picked up a few dollars here. We got a 2.2 Gen 82S. It's got a little color to it. It's still pretty flashy. It's an S-Mint coin, of course. And it's got kind of like a red auburn on the reverse. And we also bought one World Trade Center coin. It's a 1993 graded Gen BU. A lot of people have been asking us about these ever since we bought a, a whole lot last month and sold them. So as of recently, we've been trying to up our game and share some kind of new products and also been kind of making ourselves unique when we're sending out orders. And so if you guys have been noticing, if you've been buying stuff either on our eBay or on our website, we've been adding these plastic sleeves to every single one of our orders. It just gives it more protection, more rigidity to the coin you may be holding in there. And so if you guys do buy a coin from us, we're gonna have this plastic sleeve on there. We're gonna have our information on there if you guys wanna order stuff from us in the future. But if you guys just want the sleeves, if you guys got coins that you may want to protect um, and show and display maybe at coin shows, uh, make sure to check out uh, the link down below for all of our plastic sleeves. We sell them in quantities of 50, so you guys can keep your personal coins more safe. Just to let you guys know, I would only keep graded coins in here and I would not keep raw coins in here. But if you, like I said, you guys want to check this out, we'll have a lot of them available and we hope you guys enjoy them. There's some notable coins that you find at a coin show, uh, coins that you have to spend a lot of money, invest a lot of money into it, um, but they're, they're the right coins to buy. They're the right coins to offer to someone that might be willing to spend a little bit more money, a very serious collector. And so we ended up buying our first ever flowing hair uh, half dollar. It's from 1795. It's graded VG8 by PCGS. The coin is really beautiful, nice and original. It's pretty dark, but Overall, the eye appeal on the coin is there, and it's something that we really couldn't pass up. We've been moving more towards generic coins, like I said earlier in this video, and so coins like this, though, I really like to take risks on, uh, get out of our comfort zone on, but let's show you guys the rest of the high dollar and unique pieces that we found this week. We hope you guys enjoy them. So moving on to the tougher kind of new purchases that we've found. Uh, this is 1897. Barber Quarter, it's graded MS63 by Annex. It's in a nice soapbox holder. This one we bought because the toning is really awesome on the coin. 
nice blue and green around the rim filled in with some nice red and when you flip it over it's got some crazy rainbow on the reverse i mean i don't see barber's tone like this very often so i had to pick it up and give it a shot what do you guys think of the toning on this coin are you in love like i am let me know down below bought a nice pl as well it's a 97s it's a great ms63 proof like for some reason i don't run into many of these uh, many 97s's in proof like and so i wanted to buy it because you run into a lot of 81 s's um, you run into a lot of 80 s's 79 s's but not 97 s's and so i felt that like that coin uh, merited uh, the buy here's a really cool 18910 morgan dollar it's great ms64 by pcgs but i feel like this coin really could be a 64 plus and a really low 65 but what do you guys think down below i know 65s are like five thousand dollars and so you might not get that great ever in your whole life but it is a really flashy piece and blast white uh, last but not least i wanted to share with you guys again the 1795 half just beautiful nice original surfaces it is a little dark i don't think it would cack um, it's got some kind of bluish toning on the reverse but just a real nice piece of Americana. We hope you guys enjoyed these higher end purchases. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the coins that we shared today, and also the thing that we experienced at the coin show. Um, just a lot of things that we're taking note of, also learning about what has been selling for us. Uh, make sure to subscribe as well. We just passed 3,500 subscribers, that's insane. But we will see you guys in the next video.